Hi guys, this is Dr. Nida with Keys of Health. In this video, I want to talk to you about salt therapy, the benefits of gargling with salt water and inhaling salt water steam, and how it might help you fight viral infections. Now let's make one thing clear. We don't have any scientific studies providing evidence what works against COVID-19. It's too early for that. But we do have a few things which can give us some idea, some clues on what we can do to help protect ourselves from being susceptible. And if we contract the virus, how to possibly prevent it from escalating and developing further. These are scientifically researched benefits of certain nutrients and their effects on viruses, things that have worked against other coronaviruses, and a rich blend of herbal and home remedies from across different cultures that have proven effective against viral infections. Now, when we administer these remedies and practices, we know that what we are doing is effectively giving our immune system a fair chance to do what it is meant to do, which is to fight off invaders and to keep us healthy. That's all, that's all we are doing. Keeping that in mind, I want to talk to you about salt. Doctors over the centuries have recommended climate therapy. One such therapy was sea air for people with respiratory concerns. Sea air is beneficial to the respiratory organs, the skin, and it also improves circulation and it strengthens the body's immune system. The reason sea air is so healthy is that it contains tiny droplets of seawater enriched with salt, iodine, magnesium, and trace elements, which are scattered into the air by wind and waves. Salt, especially sea salt and Himalayan salt, is rich when it comes to its mineral content. Now let's go to coronavirus. Coronavirus is a respiratory infection. The main benefit of breathing in moist, warm steam is that it may help ease feelings of irritation and swollen membranes. The moisture may also help thin the mucus in your sinuses and lungs, which allows them to expel it more easily. This can allow your breathing to return to normal, at least for a short period of time. I will provide some studies in the description of this video, which talk about salt's possible benefits on respiratory health and bronchodilation. Salt water steam inhalation can possibly ease breathing and relax the lungs enough to not cause further breathing complications. If we relax the lungs and allow the person to breathe easily, we have a better chance of recovering and not deteriorating further. There's vast anecdotal evidence of salt therapy being an effective treatment for respiratory ailments. Now let's talk about gargling with salt water. There are studies which suggest that gargling with salt water can prevent viruses from multiplying and eventually affecting other organs, and in this case, lungs. Now, COVID-19 is a developing situation. Scientists are studying it. There are researches already being carried out on it, and we are constantly finding out new things. One of the researches have shown that COVID-19 replicates in the throat before moving down to the lungs. This is called viral shedding. Basically, virus finds a host, a friendly environment where it can reproduce and spread to other areas from there. By gargling with seawater, what you're doing is creating an unfriendly environment for the virus to multiply. You can potentially prevent it from concentrating and spreading further. Now, what I'm about to share with you is fascinating. Our bodies have enzymes which can convert chloride to hypochlorous acid. Now, what do we use to sanitize our environment and eliminate microbes? Bleach. Guess what is in the bleach? Hypochlorous acid. Yep, our bodies are amazing. Certain enzymes in our bodies can take the chloride ions from salt, which is sodium chloride, and convert it to bleach. According to the study, which you will find in the description below, this should work against different types of viruses. So by gargling with salt water, what you're doing is you're providing the immune system what it needs to be able to fight off the invaders. A few studies have been done on this topic. One was on 20,000 Japanese children who gargled with salt water. And during this study, there were no outbreaks of flu or infections. 
Another study in 2010 concluded that washing your throat with salt water could be considered the most effective measure against upper respiratory infections. Look, it is a good preventive measure. It cannot hurt. In fact, it can potentially help you. If you do contract the virus, it can clean your throat and enable your body to overcome it when it is in its initial stages. If you prevent the virus from spreading or slow down its growth, so even if you get it, it may not cause severe symptoms or damage the lungs. The key is in your hands. I have given it to you. It is easy to do. You take half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt or sea salt in a cup of warm water. Dissolve the salt and gargle with it. If you don't have sea salt or Himalayan salt, it's okay. You can use regular table salt. Gargle every three to four hours if possible, especially once you come home from outside. Gargle immediately and also wash your nose. If you have irritation in your throat or uptightness in your chest, gargle immediately and do the inhalation therapy as well. It can really help. You can add lemon to the boiling water for steam therapy for possible additional benefits. The main thing to remember here is to do it as soon as you feel any tingling or soreness in your throat or tightness in your chest. If you suspect that you may have contracted the virus, request a test from your doctor immediately. Meanwhile, do the gargling and inhale steam every 30 minutes. You should inhale steam for five minutes at a time from both your nose and your mouth. Rest for a bit to regulate your breathing and then repeat half an hour later. Repeat for at least a couple of hours. Gargling and inhalation together works quite effectively. You should seek medical advice, but this is a good place to start while you're waiting for a test or waiting to see a doctor. Do this treatment of, of repeated gargling and steam baths for a minimum of two days. By repeatedly doing it, you're possibly preventing the virus from growing and causing any further complications and damage. Now, of course, as a habit, I have to give you some bonus material. Along with gargling and steam therapy, you want to have a wholesome diet with lots of fruits and vegetables. You should increase vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc in your diet. Take raw wild honey. Look for a brand that specifies its antimicrobial properties so you know that it's a reputable brand. And drink a lot of warm, healthy teas like cinnamon, clove, star anise, and oregano teas. Don't take only a single point, take it as a package deal so you really see and feel the difference. What I have given you will support your immune system, prevent the virus from growing and causing further issues. And uh, basically virus taking a vacation in your lungs, you really don't want that. Continue to do it even after you feel better just to make sure that you give your body chance for full recovery. We want to do our best to protect ourselves from contracting the virus in the first place. But if we do contract it, we want to prevent it from doing too much damage. And once we recover, we want to protect ourselves from a possible relapse. These are simple preventive measures that can possibly help you do just that. We protect ourselves from contracting the virus through social distancing, proper hygiene methods, wearing a mask in public, and other means. What I have shared with you are some extra measures to ensure maximum protection against this horrid virus. Stay well, stay indoors, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. I'll see you very shortly with another video. Until then, take care. Goodbye.